Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So a few days ago, Parallels Desktop 16.5 was just released for the Mac operating system and now supports the M1 Apple Silicon Mac chip fully. So this is a fully supported virtual machine which is able to run games very, very quickly. So if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I've been working on these M1 Apple Silicon gaming benchmark videos and I've completed over 200 of these videos now and a large proportion of these are actually games run under Parallels. So these are actually Windows X64 games being emulated under Windows ARM and then virtualized in a virtual machine which is run by Parallels. So Parallels has just received the 16.5 update and a lot of people have been asking me to test games on 16.5 and to see if there's actually any kind of performance bump or improvement and how much better it is at running games and today I'm going to be doing a test of that. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway as well so I'm going to be giving away five Parallels licenses. If you want to find out how to enter this giveaway please watch until the end of the video and I'll give you details of that. So in this clip, I'm running the Hitman Absolution benchmark, and I'm running this on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. It's running at a 1600 by 900 resolution with a medium graphics setting. On the left, I have the technical preview version of Parallels, and on the right, I have the latest release of Parallels 16.5. And as you can tell, the actual average frame rate for both of these, if you look on the bottom right-hand corner of the clips, is pretty much the same. So on the left hand side we have 25 frames per second, on the right is 25 frames per second as well. So I can't really see much difference between these two versions of Parallels. As far as I can tell it's within the margin of error for how a game can perform. If we look at the final benchmark results, the average frame rate of the technical preview of 25.75 and the final result of 25.93 is virtually the same. So next up is Assassin's Creed 4. And as you can see, I'm running this at a relatively low resolution of 1344 by 756 at low graphics settings. So as you can see, both versions of the game perform very, very similarly. We're in an open world environment and there's lots of variables involved here, but when performing the same actions side by side, you can kind of see that the frame rates are very, very similar. So I can't actually discern a kind of noticeable difference between the latest 16.5 release and then also the technical preview. So this is kind of to be expected because there's not gonna be a huge, huge difference going from like a beta product into a final release product. If anyone was hoping for some huge, gigantic game performance boost from this latest version of Parallels, then I'm afraid they're gonna be a little bit disappointed. In the games that I've tested so far, that there's been barely any difference between the technical preview and the full release of Parallels. However, anecdotally, there's a few people that I've spoken to that have noticed some difference in compatibility with different games. And certainly as time goes on, there's going to be huge improvements in Windows ARM compatibility with games and also Parallels support for games too. So please watch this space. So speaking about compatibility, I wanted to introduce you to a project that I've been putting a lot of time into over the last few months, and that's applegamingwiki.com. So this is a wiki dedicated to listing the compatibility methods for running games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So here at the bottom of the homepage, I've listed a master list of all of the games that can run on the M1 Apple Silicon Macs. So that can be run natively through Rosetta 2, through an iPad iOS app, through Crossover, and through Parallels. So so if I click on this Parallels list here, that I can actually sort by how well the game can be run on the Parallels virtual machine. And as you can see here, we have quite a lot of games that on this right column that work very, very well. If you'd like to look at this list, please follow the link in the description. We need new editors and moderators, and we are recruiting at the moment. Please also check out our Discord link as well. This is the quickest way to get in touch with me and also our little community of M1 Apple Silicon gamers. So from the comparisons that I've made so far, it might seem that I'm disappointed in Parallel's latest performance. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. The actual base software itself is a feat of engineering, and it's absolutely amazing that we can actually play Windows games at all on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And Parallel's virtual machine offers the best support and compatibility for games on this platform. It's made it possible to play games like Grand Theft Auto V, Halo Master Chief Collection, and even very graphically demanding games like Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. I hear you. 
now that this has become a fully licensed and fully paid product, I do recommend that any gamer that's interested in gaming on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac support this software and order a license. If you order through the link in the description, you'll be supporting this channel and also Apple Gaming Wiki. And you can also apply this 10% Parallels discount code, which I'll be linking in the description. Please act now as it expires on the 30th of April. So Parallels also offers a fully featured 14 day free trial just to test out and see if your games work. So I do encourage you to try this if you haven't tried this before. If you'd like to find out how to install Parallels on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then I do encourage you to have a look at one of my previous video tutorials. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Also giving away five licenses which have been supplied by the Parallels team. All you have to do is follow the link in the description to this Gleam giveaway page and follow the instructions on how to enter. If you have any questions, please join me on Discord and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you then. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Posh git. Where's he running to? Follow and I'll kill you. We could work together on this! Hmm. <laughs>